Yep, back out. It's like, it's like deja vu. I'm back in the uh, place I've been loads. All these gates, man. Can't work it out. Every gate's different. No two gates the same. Anyway, have a look where we are today. Pretty winter wonderland. It is rather chilly. It's a bit slippy on the foot as well. So I'm just wondering if I should go high. I'm gonna to get to the bottom of the hill that I plan to go to. And if it's too much, as in slippy, I'll not be bothering. Because you know, you do have to be sensible. That's quite, uh, <laughs> that's quite thick that ice, it's definitely below zero now, three o'clock, <coughs> ten to three actually, oh, so we're gonna head out, see where we get to, but we'll not be daft because I've got micro spikes you see, small water in the middle, Porterfell, Ill Bell, this is the back of Riggendale, Branch Tree, south side over the back. So, it, I'm planning to go up Kidsty Pike. I've never been up there before. I have walked it before, but I've never camped up there. I've walked it a few times and there is quite a few flat bits. It's just getting to it, that's all. And the route I'm taking is really steep. And I'm thinking if it's going to be icy, the path, and I haven't got spikes, it's not sensible. So we'll see when we get there anyway, we'll see what it's like. Just still on the easy bit. Down there, right? Down there on that beach, and just up off the beach, as we had the first filmed white camp, wild camp. First one I filmed. That there is where I've done many. I might still end up there because I've got to go up there. <laughs> I might be biting off more than I can chew here. It's, it's gonna be dark when I go in. Like 10 past 3 now, the light's fading already. You can sort of make out the path, see? That's the path I've got to go up there. Through, through that bit, through that rocky bit. There's a bit of a scramble there. And up onto that long drag. It's bleak up there. And ultimately to that pike at the end. That bit. So I think it's it's either going to be off or ooh, I'm going to be doing it in the dark. I've got a head towards leg, so that's alright. I'm on all the way. It's not a bad path, it's not dangerous or not. Just it's a long way. You know, it's rough when you've got the pools out. The pools. Good damn like. For getting up rough but icy ground. Part way up that track. The heart of fell is white. It's 
gonna be cold. Look at this. I'm gonna miss the sunset like, but that can't be helped. I've got my head torch out ready for this. It would be an epic sunset now. So not to worry. Just wanna get up. That uh oh that sunset would have been good up there. Yeah, I just came a little bit too late, that's all. Never mind. Hopefully get a nice sunrise. It doesn't come up late o'clock. It gives us time to get up. Just gotta get over this uh, this kids tea house. It's rough like it's steep as out. That just in front of it there is a lot steeper than this has been. These poles are making a big difference. I was never one for using poles. That's actually uh, Brand Street, not Heart I fell. I was not one for using poles, pools, but uh, I can see why people use them now. They're really, they're really helping like. They're just cheap ones, but they're doing the job. Because the last hill I climbed, I was knackered and I was thinking the poles would have done well here. That was that criffle. So, yeah. There's people coming down there, like. I bet they've walked all. I bet they've been walking all day. Just above there. Right. I'm going to push on because. I will be I will be doing that last bit in the dark like pitching in the dark. Darry as long as you've got a head touch. So here I am. Just on the kids die house. Kids die house. That's also a camping pitch there. If anybody gets this far and they decide it's too much. Because it is steep. Just gotta go up there. Up that bit, it sort of levels off, and then it's a little drag up the top. <sighs> oh, it's a steep, steep climb. This imagine Hallin Fell, but a bit longer. <sighs> so, <sighs> I'm gonna be getting up just in time to pitch the tent, get all my stuff sorted. Well, it's probably beer o'clock by then. Five past four. It probably takes another hour. Easy. Whew. It's, uh, it's a nice night, like calm, it's still. No rain forecast. So, touch wood. I'm, uh, I'm not far from the top. It's up there. It's got, it's got right down here, like, yep, that is quite thick, that is, bit of mist rolling over the reservoir, still a bit, still the sun going down, it's just I'm blocked by this, it hasn't had any sunlight here, so it's rock solid, but yeah, I've got to go up there, I've got to go up that bit, whoo, Push on, nearly there. It's still lovely, and uh, it's, I'm sweating. I'm both, it's icy, it's freezing cold, but I'm really sweating. And I've got to get my shelter up as soon as I get up there, like just so I can get these clothes off and get dried off and warmed up. Otherwise, you wouldn't bother. If you stay wet, you start cooling down rapidly as soon as you stop. Right, I'll get going anyway. Yeah. The head torch is on. Ooh! Still not quite a way to go. Well, say that. On the map, it doesn't look far. It's just a slog. So it's just over, I think about an hour and a half from the car. But that's what happens when these early nights. I can't wait till the clocks go back forward, green. <laughs> Which way did they go? You know what I mean. 
Oh. Take a breath. So quite late over there. Some good views here, yeah. cloud coming in. You can't see it on this, unfortunately. Oh, it's gonna push on. No far to go. Ah oh, dear. It's starting to get really cold now. Got my kestrel, I'll see what that gets down to later. It's still climbing. Whew. It's just coming up at five o'clock. Oh. I'm absolutely sweating. Sniffing on our. I think I'm getting a cold to be fair, like, but hopefully this will get rid of it. I'm hoping to get some star shots tonight. I brought my DSLR, but I don't know if we can make it out. Look at that, man. This is all cloud. I hope it vanishes. Where I'm going is into the, into the fog. Straight ahead, this path just barely make it out, but you can see the outline. I'm only a couple of hundred meters away. Not height either, distance. I've done a lot of height here. Whew. Right, I'm gonna keep going and then hopefully I'll not be much longer. 10, 15 minutes, I'll be up. Ah, it's not the cloud to vanish. Would have been a nice night because there's no moon. It's clear over there. No moon, so fingers crossed this cloud disappears. Like. We'll see. Still early. Well, I'm at the top of Kids Deep Hike. Made it. As always, I always make it. But uh, the problem being, that over there is a drop into Riggendale. So you don't want to be getting too close to that edge. There's really not very many places to pitch here. I have to find a flat bit. And not boggy. Because all the way up it's been boggy like. This looks like a likely spot. This looks very nice. This looks fine here. I think we've found it. Get in. And we'll get a nice view in the morning over the edge. We're not too close to the edge. The ground feels solid enough. Like, as in, not boggy. People you get your pegs in, eh? So I think we'll, uh, you know, we'll just pitch camp here. This flat bit. Keep away from there. <laughs> get some warm stuff on first. And get pitched here. Right, we'll come back when we're up. Right, well, I took some doing here. Uh, your hands are like blocks of ice, but you've just got to push on, haven't you? Get the thing up. So, I mean, anyway, I've got this today. The wind chill. The wind chill is. Zero degrees, minus zero point one. And the wind chill's two point two, two point six, went to three before. Just when that wind blows. So I said half past five, it's minus three. Oh god. Just get it's nearly minus one. It's gonna be cold like anyway. I knew it was gonna be cold. I wasn't expecting anything else really, to be fair. Uh, green butt skunk, that's lovely. Stay puffed Irish cream imperial marshmallow porter, 9%, I didn't realise. Pilot Brewery Coco Morello, had that at the Wyland Brew, that's nice. Neutron Death Star, coffee and vanilla, 12%. Jake Head. Start with that 6.3, even that, even that's strong. So I've got that, that, and then the three stouts. I've got that. that sounds lethal, isn't it? Neutron Death Star. 
Anyway, we've got the, we've got the big bag tonight. Try it out. We'll get a proper test tonight because it's gonna really get cold. I'm gonna put my down jacket on in a minute. But yeah, that's it. Right, I'm set up. I'm syrup. There's a big moon over there. Well, it's a big moon. It's just a crescent moon. Huh? Not putting much light out in the cloud. See, the cloud just keeps coming over. A few stars popping out, but I'm not sure. Needs to go and stay away. I'm gonna put the uh, put the stove on in a minute because I've got a big steak to have. Some mushrooms. one already. It's gonna be chilly. I've got no signal so I kind of get a shout out of Craig Charles but I can't listen to him because I can get a I can pick the radio up. All is not lost. Right I'm gonna get some warm stuff on and then get my first one on. First beer. It's tea time. It's about uh, quarter to eight or something like that. It's been absolutely freezing. I've had to just sit in the, get in the sleeping bag and warm up. See, everything's getting iced up like, that's inside the tent. Chilly, chilly, chilly. The sleeping bag is so nice, I just want to get out, but I've got here, I've got to get something to eat. Got a big steak to have. Mushrooms. And then sirloin. That's a rubbish. It's a big bit of fat on it now. Tasty. Great. Then I'm gonna have a nice green butt skunk. 8.4%. Boosh. Ridiculous. There's some stars out at the minute, so uh, I might, I might, after this, once I've warmed up, get up and do a bit of photography so you can get some pictures. If there's pictures, I'll put them on. If not, then I won't. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna cook this. I don't think life gets much better than this, like. Get back. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's done. It's nice and pink inside. Medium rare. Just how I like it. Garlic butter. I've got my plate though, don't I? Green butt skunk. I won't eat in front of you because it's not nice. All oh, right, this is the uh, one, two, three. This is number four. Tiny Rebel Imperial Irish Cream. There's a few of these ones. There's a few different ones. These are marshmallow porter, but this is the Irish Cream version. Imperial, nine percent. Let's have a try this. Oh man, that's really nice. Oh god. I'm not getting massive amounts of Irish cream, but damn, I could just, if that was in a glass, I would drink that in one go. It's absolutely lovely. Marshmallow porter, it's really sweet. It's really sweet. You can get the hint of the Baileys. Just a hint, mind. It's not. It's not massive Baileys. But that marsh, the marshmallow bit is what makes that. Uh, it's nice. Anyway, I've got one left. I've got the Death Star left. 
and the Neutron Death Star. That's 12%. Am I gonna, gonna need that because I need to warm up? It's absolutely freezing. The Kestrel died, but last time um, I loved that bird. Kestrel died. My brother threw it in the bin. It's really cold now. Um, the last time I looked at the Kestrel, it was minus four. And that wasn't in the wind chill either. I mean, I've been doing some cave cave drawings in here because it's that cold. Oh, it is Baltic. Like I was out before taking some photographs of the uh, of the stars. Hold on. I was taking some photographs of the stars because there was a lot of stars out. Um, but the camera, the lens froze over. So I couldn't get any. I might put... I'll have a look on the computer, see what they look like, because they always look different on the computer. But the bloody... the lens froze, everything froze out there, on the other side, including me. So I don't, know, I don't think it'll be very good. It's a shame, because there was loads of stars as well. But yeah. Been alright this. I had that steak before, it was beautiful. I filled this up. I got a shout out of Craig Charles. Boosh! Craig Charles. <laughs> um, and this will be my last camp of this year because I've got loads to do. I've got some house moves to get on with. Not me and Carrie, just family moving house. So I'll be lugging furniture around for the next few weeks. Um, oh, I've got Christmas coming up. I've got a weekend away with Mr. Stoker. If you're watching this, Mr. Stoker, it's not long to go now till what annual do over the lakes. But that's not camping, that's just, um, it's just to get together of people who've been, he's been going for 20 odd years, I mean, this is, this will only be like my fourth year. But they're, they're a good bunch, you know, um, and we end up going for a walk up in the hills. Last last year we walked bloody, I think over two days we walked about 20 miles, we absolutely shattered, <laughs> driving home on the sunny, I don't think we spoke, <laughs> it was absolutely knackered, we went, up, we went up here, we came here from Patterdale, we came up, um, we got the ferry to Howtown, came up them hills, Weather Weatherlam I think it is, Weather Hill. And then we walked across to Kidsley Pike here, and then on the High Street, and then up to Thornthwaite Crag, and then back down in like a big horseshoe. That I think that was about um, that was something like ten. It actually, might have been about sixteen miles. I'm not sure. Not sure. But we did that one day. Absolutely buggered when we got back, and we were straight to the pub, soaking wet as well. And then uh, the next day we went up St. Sunday Crag, which was ridiculous. We should never have went up there, like, but it was good. I went up St. Sundays and then came back down via Grysdale Town. But again, we got drenched, but you know, it's all, it was all for a good weekend. A couple of lads from Northampton come up, Andy and Barry. Barry's from the northeast, uh, but he lives down Northampton now. So he comes up once a year and we'll all get together. Have a good laugh, like. we we'll a really good laugh. Have a few beers. Uh, but this, today, this walk up here was really hard. <coughs> I came up from Horswater from the car park. I've come up the front of Kidsty Pike. And it was steep, man. I had them poles. It was, I was glad of them poles today. There was a lad coming down. He says he fell over about three or four times because the ice, the the ice is just sheet ice on the rocks, it's really slippy. And then I ended up coming up in the dark, of course. The bloody, I still had, I still had an hour, and I was walking when the sun went down. So it was pretty dark when I got up. But I was dark the last time I went. I come, it's sorry. As long as you've got a head torch, you're alright. I just got the tent up and then I got in. You know, I got out the, got out the cold. I warmed up, got in the bag and warmed up. So like I say, I went out and took some photographs and, uh, and all the rest of it. But yeah, it's getting on for 10 o'clock now, so Mr. Charles will be on 
it's 10 o'clock show on Radio 2. Um, that's about it really. It's weird when you've got a screen. You've got a screen sticking out so you're looking in the screen. You should be looking in the lens but the light is really bright. That's why I'm doing that. Anyway, oh, I've got to have another beer. The marshmallow one. And probably they'll have that 12%. 12% man. But I think I think I might warm us up. And then I've got to get in. So I'm a bit tired. Right. See what happens. Morning hikers. Howdy who? No, nah, nothing. Anyway, this is where we pitched last night. Here, pitching in the dark, so you never get to see where you actually are. That's uh, High Street over there. We're pretty near the edge. It's pretty near by saying if you just wander off in the middle of the night, you're gone like. So you've got to be careful. So have your head torch on, brightest setting. Uh, slept well. Nice and warm. This is the top of Kidsty Pike. Typically, all the inversion is in that valley over there. That whole area is just cloud inversions, temperature inversions, whatever it is. Now, here. Typical. There's the tent. Syrup. Pitched right on the edge. That's not as bad as it looks. The sun's coming up over there, like. So dry. Right. Quite chilly again. Oh, I've got the runny nose. That's horse water. Horse water. You can see Blee Torn just, just shining through there. And I'm trying to work out where I camped on there, where I pitched, over there somewhere. Not see from here. Bleak. But spectacular. Cloud, look at that hanging in that valley. Hey, should be over here, man. Look at the time lapse that. Don't worry. Nice cup of tea, coffee. Not really. It's a nice place. Good pitches. Right on the top. I think I would get a pitch on the top. It was a bit stony at first, but I just looked around. Came across it. Right. Enough of this. There it is. Eventually, it's popped up. Just say hello. Everything up now. Hopefully, it won't be as icy going back down them paths because that was pretty dicey, like icy and dicey. We'll see. 
packed. <coughs> no trace. Just that patch. And then I'm gonna just take the last couple of minutes to take all this in. That's really, really dodgy over there, like. If you come here in the snow, you have to be careful. Don't go near the edge. Remember, once me and my mate were up there, just walking, and there was a snowy cornice, like a big path of snow there. And he stepped on it, and it went, it just collapsed under him, and that drop was underneath him. The snow was like over the top of the, the path. It looked like a path for all the world, it looked like the path, until he stood on it. Nearly lost him. Anyway, I'm off because it's freezing standing here. This tent needs drying out again. Right, if anything exciting happens, we'll have a look at it. That's it. That's the top of Kids De Pike. I hiked up there last night in the dark. Christ, how the hell? What was I thinking? I couldn't see where I was going, like, I couldn't see all that. Coming down here, down to the Kids Day house, and then down the steep, the steep bit to the bottom. But yeah, that's the top. So if you're coming up here, just for, look for that little knobbly bit. It's a bit like Roseberry Top, isn't it? It's only 700 and something metres. It's not really that big. It looks a lot higher, but it's not. It's still 2,000 odd feet, like, but yeah. Anyway, that's enough waffling. We're down, dropped the, the canny way. Look at this. I've come across. Uh, it's really icy. Ah, uh, it's still alive. I thought it was frozen to death. The water's uh, frozen, so what you do is you break the ice so you can escape. Hello, Mr. Frog. There's a little escape pad. You can get out of there now if you want. I thought it was dead. Well, I'm happy he's not. That's made me a bit happier. Right. So we're just on the house now. This is a tricky bit, so I can't film this. You need to use your hands. Put your paws away. Right. Just taking a minute to compose myself. I just took a tumble here. Missed a tumble. This grass, it looks, it looks benign, but it's really slippy. It's got like uh, icy water throws onto it. Oh, I went flying. I went rolling. <laughs> I think I hurt my knee a little bit, but it should be all right. And what I did was I had that one. I had my hand through the strap, and this was rolling with us. It was bending my arm. This one flew off. So I think the advice here is don't use the uh, don't use the straps if you've got tricky descending. Because if you fall, you want to let. You don't want that coming with you. It bent me on this. Hurt me on. Anyway, I'll be alright. Nothing dangerous. I'm still walking. Still alive. It just shows you though. I've come all the way down that rocky bit. No problem. And then I get on the grass and I'm over. I just took my eye off the ball for a second and was down. Yeah, I hope nobody saw us. I was honestly rolling. <laughs> my backpack saved us because it was, uh, I rolled over a big boulder as well. So the backpack cushioned that, which was all right. Anyway, that's me done filming now. So I'm back out in the new year. So happy Christmas, happy new year, all oh, that malarkey. We'll see you then. Have fun, stay safe. Boosh. Bogies. <laughs>